All right, everybody, welcome back to our interview with Don Hankey. Uh, Don, F, after uh, many, many years of helping out with the racetrack and stuff, why did you do it? You know, What did you get out of helping at the racetrack? Yeah, I enjoyed racing, uh, but it was also the camaraderie with the guys, not only the uh, other officials, but the drivers, and uh, got a lot of good friends out of the experience. So just like the satisfaction of being part of the program? Part of the program. And, and part of the, yep. mingling and, with everybody? And, and making sure that we did the best job we, we, we could. So it was, at the end of the day, it was kind of rewarding. Satisfying. Yeah. Cause Satisfying. I definitely don't think you're doing it for the money. Cause oh, God, no. No, no money. <laughs> we, money nobody's going to get rich, dude. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> money wasn't the issue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you a ever actually drive a race car? Uh, I never planned on it, but... Um, Years ago, when I was involved, and in, uh, we started the celebrity races. Um, one night, I think we had seven or eight registered celebrities, and I mean business owners, uh, wanted to generate some new interest into the facility and into the racing, and maybe potential sponsors for some guys. Which is a pretty good promotional program. Yeah, I thought it have. worked out pretty good, and it did work out for some guys. But one night, one of our elected uh, celebrities didn't show up, and. Uh, God rest his soul, Kevin Davey and Ronnie Michelson showed up up front with the car and says, you're driving. And I said, no, nah, I, I really can't. Mm -hmm. um, I can't afford to repair it if I break it, so I don't want to do it. Uh -huh. I think they made some comments to me, the, making a statement that I didn't have something very large that made me decide, well... I'm going to show somebody, so I jumped in the car. So they were making fun of you. Pick they up. were they were definitely making fun of me, and um, the so challenge. They they peer pressured you into driving. Yeah, that was an understatement. <laughs> that was an understatement. But uh, yeah, I got in the car and Kevin grabbed my headset and the clipboard, and away I went. Oh, so, so did Kevin become the the, the steward, steward for, yes. for the for that celebrity race? Yeah, then? and yeah. then you drove the, his car. I drove his car. How'd night. you do? I won that night. You won it. Well, I won it. Um, Maybe was, you had the secret talent to, for a whole new career. Well, no, I think it was, uh, if I remember right, Lee Bloomquist taught me a lesson that night because he kept touching my uh, rear end and uh, making sure that I wasn't going fast enough, but I, I did make it. But you managed to hang I out. I managed to win, and um, after the race that night, my wife and kids came down. My kids were excited, and my wife was not real happy with me. Oh, so that and ended your short That ended my driving right? career real okay. shortly. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, sometimes you gotta listen to the boss. What well, they say. Going on forty-three years, it's yeah. too late to change. You know? <laughs> uh, what is the strangest thing you ever had happen at the track? The strangest thing. It was on a night of Labor Day, and it was a late model feature, and it, like it happened yesterday. There was an incident. We had to stop each other race, and there was a rule that once you got out of the car, you had to go tail end. Well, the leader that night stopped in front of me and shut the car off and he motioned me over and so I walked over and he says I have a problem and I said what's that and he says well I have to use a restroom and I started laughing and I said no you're not serious yes I am so I said get your helmet off and so we stuck, snuck him underneath the flag man and he proceeded to do his job and he came back out and got in the car and went on to win the feature that night. <laughs> but uh, the head judge wasn't real happy with me at the time, but I thought, well, this was in the best interest. In... Because you weren't supposed to get out of your car. Exactly. But, but, but you gave him permission. I gave him permission. And... Yeah, that could have got a little messy if you but, went to nah, I mean, it's a natural thing. So he went on to win the race. He went on to win the he race. He didn't come in light at all, did he? Uh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, okay. he didn't. No, well, he didn't come in light. <laughs> guy might have lost a few pounds doing that. You never uh, know. It took him a while, but yeah. Yeah, so that's definitely a strange thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you still involved in racing at all? I still go. I, okay, I, so you, you're no longer helping at tracks? No, no, but I still go to the races, absolutely. But you're still an avid fan yep, up yep, there? Yep. Where you going to stands? Or no, you... we've got a spot, our same spot we've had for, I don't know how many years, in turn one. Okay, so you're in the dog kennel. Dog house, yeah. Okay. Why do you prefer that dog kennel instead of the grandstands? Because of my kids, and now I have grandkids. Uh -huh. And so, they like it there, just well, so they can, a little bit more freedom? They've got more freedom. To run around. To run around. I've got four grandsons now, yeah. and it just works out great well, for So I, I bet you there's many little uh, racetracks built in the We've dirt, got right? more racetracks and toys you can shake the stick. <laughs> okay. Well, Don, uh, recently you've been elected to the 2018 Hibbing Raceway Hall of Fame. Appreciate that. I, it's I, an honor. I congratulate that. Thank you on that uh, very well earned over the years and uh, 
appreciate everything you've done to help racing in general. Try. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and thanks for all of your service and yep. going through the broken ankle and everything. <laughs> yeah. and, but uh, I think that concludes this interview. And Don, yeah. we'll uh, see you at the track. And thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.